Sometimes you won't know the tempo of an audio clip. For example, if you recorded an audio clip without a metronome, or you're working with a rubato performance. In these kinds of situations, it can be helpful to tempo map that clip, which means retrofitting staff pad's score tempo to the recorded audio, so that any written notation or other audio elements play back in time. StaffPad makes this very easy with the new tempo mapping feature. Here, I have a piano that's recorded without a click, and as you can see, it's not lining up and the metronome is out of time. Let's see how we can fix this. I'll add a tempo staff from the utility staffs category. I need to make sure adaptive audio is turned off on the piano so that it doesn't interfere with the tempo mapping process. I'll enable the tempo mapping toggle on the tempo staff. And now I can simply drag the bar and beat markers of the tempo staff to line up with the audio waveform. Let's listen to these first two bars with StaffPad's metronome enabled for reference. These two bars are great, but I can hear that it continues at a similar tempo so I can just push to erase this last tempo marking, and that will continue the tempo at around 83. I can see that it still needs a bit of adjustment, so I'll go through and refine this tempo map further by dragging those beat and bar markers on the tempo staff to fit the transients I can see on the waveform. Let's have a listen to what we have now with StaffPad's metronome enabled. This is sounding good, but there's a slowdown at the end, so I'll drag the beat markers and refine the tempo map to match. Now I have a perfect tempo map. I can work with other elements and notation, and all this will play back in time. If I turn back on adaptive audio, I can now make changes to the score's tempo and the piano will stay in sync. Remember, I can always use the detail slider on the tempo staff to reduce the number of tempo markings displayed in the score. In this example, I'll remove all of the tempo fluctuations. You'll notice if I erase a marker in the middle of others, it'll average out either side, and this can be really useful for smoothing out a tempo map without changing the overall length of the piece. And now I'll speed this piece up to a consistent 110 BPM all the way through. The piano remains perfectly in time with StaffPad's metronome. Thanks to tempo mapping and adaptive audio, we've taken a freely recorded piano piece and made it fit a consistent 110 BPM score tempo.